All right, so with Frank Beamer retiring, that means there's yet another coaching opening. There's been a wild season for coaching jobs. As you got USC, Steve Sarkeesian. The other USC with Steve Spurrier, Al Golden getting canned in the middle of the season. Let's put this all into perspective now. With so many different jobs available, seven power five head coaching jobs, let's rank them in terms of desirability. What are your top three power five jobs right now? Right now, I would have to say USC. What's USC? <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> A Southern Cal. And then I would have to say, I would say um, West Virginia and then South Carolina. Hmm. Wait. Yeah. Virginia Tech. Virginia, Virginia Tech. Tech. <laughs> I'm, I'm already fired and getting Dana Holmes. Sorry. No, I'm, I, yeah, I know. Dana may be leaving, but I don't think it'll be firing. No, I, I agree with you. USC in California, that's a, a program that sells itself. Tremendous tradition. It's still regarded by many as a top five job, maybe top ten job. Then I would go with Virginia Tech because of what Frank Beamer did in terms of making that program nationally elite. Then it gets interesting. I, Heather's going to disagree with me, but I actually like Maryland because of what I'm hearing about that job. And she disagrees. She's going to get after me. Yeah. A minute. But you hear that they have the money behind them uh, to maybe make this into a better job, pay the coach a lot, pay the staff a lot. They are in a great recruiting area in Maryland, Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia. Are they going to be able to do it? We'll find out. The interesting thing is neither of us have Miami I was in the say top that. three. Well, and I, Miami, think, I think part of that's just because the money from what we hear is not there. Are they going to pay their coach $4 million? Are they going to invest in their facilities? The Maryland situation right now, it looks like they are. We'll see if they do. But Miami is probably not there financially. I covered Maryland for the Baltimore <laughs> Sun. I live in Maryland, and I will believe it when I see it. And to think that Kevin Plank, the Under Armour guru, is going to just sweep in, empty his pockets, and pay for a coach to come in and rescue them is not going to happen. He's running a global business right now. He's got bigger things to worry about. Can he assist with facilities and upgrades and things like that? Yes, definitely, but he's not going to hire Maryland's next head coach. There's no question that Maryland is in a talented recruiting area and can get recruits. But to me, as long as Kevin Anderson is the athletic director. They're not going to be a top team in the Big Ten because I think he's in over his head. I don't think he's made good administrative decisions. They've had to cut sports there. And financially, they're waiting for this check from the Big Ten, I think. And when it happens, maybe all those things will happen. You know better than I do the financials it's coming. of that and, it's the, coming. and the TV yeah. contract. But Again, I'll believe it when I see it, and to me, they're better off right now hiring uh, a Justin Fuente, a Tom Herman, somebody like that. They're not going to get one of those big-name coaches. It's just not going to happen. That's going to be tough. That's going to be very interesting to see that Maryland actually above Miami, how the mighty have fallen. It's very, very sad times in Miami. Well, they did get that one win against Duke. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of Berkeley. Technically, He's out of I'm Carrie Chow. Thanks for watching this edition of Drive Through.